this video, we're going to show how to sketch the graphs of sine and cosine functions. So we're going to follow this format. A would give us the amplitude. B would be used to get the period. C is for the horizontal shift and D for the vertical shift. Let's start first with the parent graph sine x. So let us use table of values to show the coordinates. X would be the angles, and Y would be the value of the sine of the given angle. So in reference to our unit circle here, let's start with zero radians. The sine would be the Y coordinate, so this would be sine of zero decrease is zero. Pi over two would be one. Pi would be 0. 3 pi over 2 is negative 1. And 2 pi would be 0. To show the graph, again, the x would be the angles and y would be the value of the sine of the angles. So let's say this would be 0, 0. So that would be at the origin. Pi over 2, 1 would be here. Pi 0, 3 pi over 2, negative 1, and 2 pi, 0. Tracing the points would give us this graph. Remember that A gives us the amplitude. So the coefficient here gives us the amplitude. So that is 1. The amplitude gives us the vertical distance of the maximum and the minimum points of our graph from our midline. For the period, this can be computed using 2 pi over b. So in this form, we can say that b is equal to 1. So the period is 2 pi. Therefore, this repeating pattern will happen every 2 pi interval. The range would be all possible values of y for the given function. So in this case, we have negative 1 to 1 for the domain, which would be the set of all possible values of x of the given function. Remember that we are just sketching one period or one cycle of our function y is equal to sine x. But this pattern will be repeating infinitely following the interval of 2 pi. Therefore, the domain would be negative infinity to infinity. How about for y is equal to cosine x? So let us use table of values again. And in reference to our unit circle here, the cosine of 0 radians is 1. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Cosine of pi is negative 1. Cosine of 3 pi over 2 is 0. And cosine of 2 pi is 1. Sketching the graph would give us, this would be 0, 1, pi over 2, 0, pi negative 1, 3 pi over 2, 0, and 2 pi, 1. So this would be the graph of y is equal to cosine x per one period. Remember that we're just showing one period of the graph, but the actual graph would give us this. Setting our midlines, the amplitude would be 1. Again, that would be the coefficient here. Period is 2 pi over b. So coefficient here is 1, so we have 2 pi over 1, and that would be 2 pi. For the domain, again, this is an example of a periodic function, same as the sine function, so that would be negative infinity to infinity. And for the range, we have negative 1 to 1. Let's say, for example, 3, y is equal to negative 2 sine x. If the coefficient here is 1 and we don't have phase shift or the c variable here, then we can simply use this identified angles already. 
So we have pi over 2 pi, 3 pi over 2, 2 pi. Meaning we're just following the same interval with the parent function, which is sine x. The coefficient here tells us the amplitude. The amplitude would be the absolute value of the coefficient here. So that would be positive 2. Remember that this is the parent graph y is equal to sine x. The coefficient here is positive 1. So from 0, the pattern will move to positive 1. In this case, the direction would be different because we have negative 2. Therefore, we will be at negative 2. And then pi 0, and we will move to 2, and at 2 pi here. So this will be the graph of negative 2 sine x. The period is 2 pi over b, so that is 2 pi over 1 is equal to 2 pi. Coefficient here is 1. Domain, so this is negative infinity to infinity. And our range would be negative 2 to 2. Let's say we have y is equal to negative 3 cosine x. Remember that this is the parent graph cosine x. We can see that the amplitude is 3, but this is negative. So the direction would now be, instead of above the midline, you have to set the point here at negative 3. And then pi over 2, 0. And then pi 3. 3 pi over 2, 0. And 2 pi, negative 3. So this is what will happen if we have the coefficient here as a negative number. So again, the amplitude is 3. Period is 2 pi over b, and that would be 2 pi. Domain would be the set of real numbers, or negative infinity to infinity. And the range is from negative 3 to 3. Let's say we have y is equal to 4 sine x plus 2. Remember that a gives us the amplitude. B helps us to get the period, C is for the phase shift, and D would be the vertical shift. So for this example, amplitude is the absolute value of 4, and that is 4. Period is 2 pi over 1. The coefficient here is 1. And the vertical shift would be positive 2. So how do we sketch the graph if we have the vertical shift? So let's say this is our Cartesian plane, and we're going to use the same angles here. The vertical shift would tell us that the midline will be shifted to positive 2. Compared to the parent graph of sine x, the midline is located at the x-axis. But now we have to set it at positive 2. So we will now follow the same pattern for sine x. So we will start here at the intersection of the midline and the y-axis. Since the coefficient here is positive and the amplitude is 4, for pi over 2, the point must be above the midline. So it, this should be at 6. And then we will return to the midline. And then same distance here, 4 units, and that would be at negative 2 and we will return to the midline. So this is the graph of y is equal to 4 sine x plus 2. For the domain, that would be negative infinity to infinity. The range can be computed using d plus minus a. So d is the vertical shift plus minus the amplitude, which is 4. So you have 2 plus minus 4. That's why we have negative 2 to 6. Let's say for y is equal to negative 3 cosine of x minus 1. The amplitude is positive 3. Period is 2 pi. Vertical shift is at negative 1. So this is our Cartesian plane. Our midline should be set at negative 1. Since this is cosine and the coefficient here is negative 3, we have to set our point here 3 units below the midline. So we have negative 4. 
and then for pi over 2, this would be at the midline. And then for pi, it would be 3 units above the midline, so that would be at 2. And then we will return to the midline and at negative 4 again for 2 pi. So to get the domain, again, that would be negative infinity to infinity or the set of real numbers. The range would be d plus minus a, and that would be negative 1 plus minus 3, and that would be negative 4 to 2. Let's say we have negative sine of 1 of x plus 3. Our amplitude here is the absolute value of this coefficient, and that would be positive 1. Period would be 2 pi over b. In this case, we have 1 half for b. So 2 pi over 1 half is 4 pi. And the vertical shift would be 3. So now what will happen if we have the period as 4 pi? The natural period for sine and cosine is 2 pi. So we are using for markings pi halves, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. But since our period is at 4 pi, we need to identify the other three angles. So this would be 4 pi, and this would be the midline at 3. Identifying the other three angles for markings here, we have to use 4 pi times 1 fourth or 1 fourth of the given period, and that would be pi. 1 half of the given period, and that would be 2 pi. And then 3 over 4 or 4 pi, and that would be 3 pi. Remember that this is the graph of the parent function sine x. So one cycle of the pattern would be every 2 pi interval. Now to graph this, since this is negative, the direction would be below the midline. So we will start here at the intersection of midline and our y-axis. And then the amplitude is 1, so we would be at pi here, we would be plotting our point here at 2. And then we will return to the midline. And then at 4. 3 pi 4, and we will return to the midline. As you can see here, we're having a horizontal stretching compared to the graph of the parent function sine x. For the domain, same, it would be negative infinity to infinity, and the range would be d plus minus a, so we have 3 minus 1 and 3 plus 1, so that would be 2 to 4. For example, 8, we have y is equal to 2 cosine of 1 fourth x minus 4. So our amplitude is 2. Period is 2 pi over b, and that would be 2 pi over 1 fourth. So that is 8 pi. Vertical shift is as negative 4. So let's say this is our partition plane. Getting the angles for markings, we have one fourth of the period, that is 2 pi, one half of the period, and that is 4 pi, and three fourths of the period, that is 6 pi. Setting our midline at negative 4. Now, since our amplitude is at 2, and this is positive, so we would be plotting the point from the midline two units above. So we have at negative 2, then we will return to the midline, and then 2 units below the midline, return to the midline, and at negative 2. So for the domain, we have negative infinity to infinity, range is d plus minus a, so we have negative 4, plus minus 2, so we have negative 6 to negative 2. Sketching the graph would give us this. For example, 9, let's say we have y is equal to 3 sine 4x plus 3. Our amplitude is 3. Period is 2 pi over 4. And that is pi over 2. Vertical shift is equal to 3. 
So identifying the other angles for markings, we have one fourth of pi halves, and that would be pi over eight. One half of pi over two is pi over four. And three over four of pi over two is three pi over eight. Setting our midline at three, and then starting to plot in the point we have here at zero three. Since the coefficient here is positive, the amplitude is 3, and this is a sine function. For pi over 8, the point must be at 6. And then return to the midline. And then 3 units below the midline. And return to the midline. So this is the graph of 3 of sine 4x plus 3. For the domain, that would be the set of real numbers. And for the range, we have d plus minus a. So that would be 3 minus 3 and 3 plus 3. So we have 0 to 6. For example, then, let's say we have negative 2 cosine of 3x plus 1. The amplitude is 2. Period is at 2 pi over 3, since b is 3. So the angles for markings would be 1 fourth of 2 pi over 3, or the period. 1 half of 2 pi over 3 is pi thirds. And 3 fourths of 2 pi over 3 is pi halves. The vertical shift is at 1. So setting our midline at 1. And then since this is cosine and the coefficient here is negative, this point must be below the midline. So we would be starting at negative 1 and then return to the midline. And then 2 units above the midline since the amplitude is 2. So this would be a 3 and then return to the midline and at negative 1. So this is the graph of negative 2 cosine of 3x plus 1 for one cycle. The domain is negative infinity to infinity. The range would be d plus minus a, so we have 1 plus minus 2. So we have 1 minus 2 is negative 1, and 1 plus 2 is 3.